Flux is the world's largest decentralized compute network. Uh, we, I would say we're the AWS of the blockchain. Uh, so we can run front ends, back ends, game servers. Uh, we have uh, uh, GPUs for edge compute and so on and so forth. So we're fixing a pretty large problem that we have right now in the technology sector. It, we have the have and have nots of technology and we want to be able to provide good quality infrastructure, scalable, decentralized, private infrastructure to the people that need it the most. So that's where Flux really shines. Well, they actually tried that, but the reason why Flux is so different than a centralized protocol is, uh, you know, AWS has, let's say, 10 uh, uh, facilities around the country. We have uh, 13,000 plus decentralized systems administrators around the world, around the globe. It does cut into their profit model because this is for the people by the people, essentially the people that are running the infrastructure or providing the compute resources. It changes the pricing dynamics. And because they're using a mineable asset, so we're, we're a proof of work project, we're actually a fork of Bitcoin. Uh, you, you, uh, you're able to get the security of Bitcoin with the power of our layer two network on top of it. This is where people are building the next iteration of technology. And a lot of that will end up on the next generation of the internet. And that's what Flux is really truly looking to help enable those products to make that switch or traverse part of their infrastructure over from Web 2 to Web 3. A lot of the uh, enterprise projects that we deal with, we tell them just to deploy something. Doesn't matter what it is. Uh, maybe it's a database that you just want to you know, validate, make sure that it's, it's replicating correctly, make sure it's scaling correctly. Uh, a website, simple, simple enough WordPress website because we do host uh, you know, WordPress sites as well. So um, anything to kind of dip your toes in because once you've dipped your toes in, you're going to keep coming back. You're going to realize very quickly that there's a ton of value add here and you can load balance between both worlds. So you can continue to run your infrastructure on Web 2 as you become acclimated and comfortable with Web 3 and decentralized compute. I would say that the one takeaway uh, from this is we have 175,000 people that have been through here in a couple of days and every single one of them has the light in their eyes for the next version of technology. And we have to really think about how we scale this out appropriately. Do we want to depend on legacy infrastructure that has let us down time after time? You know, one of, and I don't knock on anybody, but Google's uh, theme was don't be evil. Flux is don't be evil again, because we need to go back to where we allow people to have infrastructure them, themselves. And it, it isn't controlled by one entity that's, that's uh, capitalizing on your data. So Flux opens the door for that. And we're very, we're very hopeful that we change the internet as you know it today.